Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So in the previous video, we discussed that how we can produce the messages using the producer that we have created. Okay. So in this video, we are going to see how we can consume the messages which are produced by the producer. Okay. So we are going to create one consumer and there I will try to create one method which will listen to the queue and then that method will be consuming the messages from the queue. Okay. So everything we are going to discuss in this video. So first of all, let me try to go to the IntelliJ and try showing you that this is the API for the producer and we are sending the order as a request body and we are getting the response as order DTO. Okay. And this response is also going to the rabbit MQ uh, through this exchange and the routing key. Okay. So this uh, response that we are getting, we are also able to get that response to the queue as well, right? So this is the response when we are hitting this API with this order request, we are getting this response and this response is being mapped to the queue. Sorry, this response is being ma mapped to the exchange and the routing key and going to the queue, right? So let me try to go to the rabbit MQ and then try to show you that this response is already there. Okay. So you can come to this queue. This is the queue that we have created. And if you'll go to the get messages, you can see this response, which is the order DTO. So the producer was able to produce the messages. Now in this video, we are going to discuss how we can consume this message. Okay. Which is in, in the queue. So let me try to go to the IntelliJ and try creating one uh, consumer package and then consumer Java class. So let me try to create the consumer and right click on the consumer and here you have to create the consumer Java class. So let's say the name of the consumer is uh, RabbitMQ consumer. Okay, add this. And here what we are going to do, we are going to create one method which will be listening to the queue so that it can receive the messages from the queue. Okay, so let me try to create that method. So public void consume and this method should be listening to the queue. So there is a annotation called rabbit listener that we need to use to listen this method to the queue. And here we need to provide the queue name. Okay. So queues equal to what is the queue name that we have defined here in the configuration so that we need to use. So you can see our queue. We can access this queue using this rabbit dot queue. So come to the consumer and let me try to use the rabbit MQ config dot queue. So what what it is doing? It is taking up like it is uh, uh, mapping this method with the queue and in the queue. The message is in the form of order DTO, right? So that reference we need to pass here as an argument to the consume method so that whatever message is there in the queue, it will be mapped to this reference and then we can log it here. So let me try to create one uh, order DTO reference here. Order DTO. And now we need to logged out. So what I'm going to do like this method is listening to the queue and whatever messages is there in the queue, it is going to assign to this order DTO because the message in the queue is of the type order DTO. That is why we are passing the order DTO argument here. Now we have the uh, message in the order DTO. We can log this order DTO. Okay. So let me try to put like consumer is able to consume. Let me try to do consume messages from queue. Okay. And now we can also append the order TTO. So we are good now. And we need to annotate this uh, class with at the rate component so that it's been can be created and assigned to the application context. So we are good now. Now let me try to uh, run this application. And because we are logging the response or the messages from the queue, 
in the consumer we were able to see that message here as well so just wait for a few seconds and here you can see so you can see that uh, the consumer is able to consume the message so consumer is able to consume the message from the queue and the message in the con in the queue was uh, this response order DTO response right so order DTO and in order DTO we have the order uh, we have the order status and we have the message right so this is how the consumer can consume the message from the queue now if you'll go to the queue and if you'll refresh it now you can go to the this is the queue that uh, is mapped in our spring boot application if you'll go to the get message here you can see the queue is empty because whatever was produced from the producer was uh, going to the exchange through the routing key it is going to the queue and now from the queue the consumer is able to consume that message that is why the message is no more in the queue okay so the queue is empty as of now so this is the whole flow of the rabbit mq uh, how the producer can produce something how the consumer can consume that uh, messages so in between there is a rabbit mq broker so rabbit mq mq broker consists of the exchange and the queue and the exchange and the queue is mapped through the routing key so this is how we can integrate the rabbit mq in a spring boot application if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content thanks